Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know that I have not been here for like 3 million years. I'm sorry, I have just been very busy. I'm chewing gum because like I haven't had any today and I basically survive on gum. It's really weird, but move on and accept it. Um, but basically I have a TikTok account which is also blind as a new normal and I have been w working on that currently. Um, so, you know, go check that out. But um, I have another toy review for everyone because we all know that, you know, my toy reviews are great. So here it is. Um, this is a little shark and it is a Zuzu pet. I finally got one of the new Zuzu pet aquarium um, uh, fish. I don't even know what I'm saying. And I am really excited about it because I have really wanted one for a long time because um, I used to have the Zuzu pets when I was nine and I've always wanted um, to have more of them. And I also got one when I was like 14, so like three years ago. And then these came out and I was just like, ah, because I heard about these before they came out and I've been like literally desperate to get my hands on one. And for anyone who's new to this channel, I am a blind autistic teen who makes random videos about literally anything. So if you're interested, welcome to the family, come check us out. So I believe this box is shaped like a fish tank and for some reason it has a hole in the top for like try me, but it doesn't have batteries in it. So I really don't get how you're supposed to try it, but you know, um, here's the other side of the box in case, you know, there's something interesting on it. Um, this shark is named Butch. Here's the side of the box. Here's the other side of the box. Um, so basically, um, it's a shark that will run and make noises and um, yeah. So I'm gonna probably need scissors. I didn't think this through very well. Okay, uh, here are my scissors in case I need them. Let us begin opening this child and we'll see how easy it is for me to open. It probably is not easy and I have no idea how to begin. Oh, I think I just figured it out. See, I'm not as stupid as I look most of the time. Uh, that was pointless. Okay. Oh, is there tape on here? Is there tape on here? No, please don't do this to me. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Oh, I did it. Oh, we have instructions in the bottom of the box. So here are the instructions. I'm pretty sure I know how it works though. Okay. Oh, I can already feel him. Huh. What am I doing? Ah, I did it. I got the top off. Oh my God, he's so cute. Look at her, she's adorable. Oh God, I'm dying. Look at that, that's so cute. If you hear any weird noises, it's my phone vibrating. Sorry, guys. So I don't know how much you can see, but here um, she is. She's got she's got a very cute, very cute, very small body, and it looks like she might be stuck to something. And I think you just twist this to get it off. Yep. It looks like I'm doing it right. That's one. And I don't really, oh, okay, there's another one. Okay. These plastic screw things. And here is my shark, Butch, who has a sticker stuck to her that I do not know how to take off. Is this a sticker? Yeah, it looks like a sticker. Oh, this better be a sticker. I'm gonna get in trouble if it's not a sticker. It feels like a sticker, yep. How do I get it off? I got it off. I don't think I ripped her. But um, here she is, she's really cute. She's got very big fluffy fins. I kind of wish the fins were like hard, but they're not. There's a button on the back and another button on the back too. I don't think you can see the buttons, but there's one here and one uh, there's two, but I can't remember where the other one. Okay, one is here, one is here. So one is at the top of her head and one is at the bottom. And if anyone had any con con confusion, I cannot talk. She's kind of got like, oh, her nose is a button too. But it's a bit floppy up here. Um, so if anyone had any confusion, her um, head, like her neck has a button right here. Sorry, I keep moving out of frame, I'm sorry. Her neck has a button, 
and her lower back has a button. And I am going to go and put batteries in her and I shall be right back. So um, hang in there for a second. Guys, I have returned. She now contains batteries. We will see a little bit about what Butch does. So she has a button on her nose. We'll press it to listen to her make noise. I think those are all the noises she makes. Then she has a nurture button. So when you're just holding her and you want her to make noise and you want to stroke her, there's a button up here. So let's press it. Okay. All right, and let's try the bottom one. That makes some move. You probably can't see this, but I'm gonna try my best. See what Um, that was very scary. Uh, she just knocked into my um, thing and nearly gave me a heart attack. Um, and I don't really know, I can't read the instructions, so I'm going to test out some things from my old one to see if they work. Um, these fins are like so... <laughs> Look at this, could you imagine a shark's fins being this floppy like this? I think it would have been better if they made the fins like stiffer and harder and like thicker, but I mean, it's, it's fine. It's not a very big deal. Also, like, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but look, the eyes are very wobbly. I don't know if that was intentional, like, they just did not tighten this. But, like, this section just looks a little bit loose. I don't know. I don't know if it was supposed to be like that, but it looks a little bit loose. And um, I don't have another one to compare it to, so I'm just gonna have to hope it doesn't break. Um, and maybe it's just me, and maybe it's supposed to be like that. Who knows? Because I don't have another one. But she feels really nice and like well built. Other than that, this shaking sound, if you do get one, is there's a little um, special gear in there so that when she's upright, so she moves when she's like this. If I have her like this, hang on. Where's the button? Right? So, but when I pick her up and have her like this, she'll stop moving. See, it's like magic. And she makes snoring noises. How cute is that? Okay, guys, I want to test out one thing from my old one because when my I had my old one, if you held down one of the buttons, it made her dance. But I don't think this one's going to do that. Which is a little bit sad, but it's okay. So let's just see what happens if I hold down on this button. When I find it. <laughs> see how great I am at this? It doesn't seem like she was even responding to bumping into things, so let's see what happens again. Um, there doesn't seem to be a dance button on her. Let's see. Does this one do anything? No. No. Okay, so holding her down seemed to put her in some kind of like mode because she wasn't responding to anything else when she was, uh, when I held down her back button down here, it seemed to put her in some kind of mode because she was not responding to um, uh, bumping into things. So maybe she was in some kind of mode. I don't really know because I do not have the ability to read the instructions as I have mentioned, I am blind. So if anybody does know the answer and would like to kindly inform me, that would be greatly appreciated. As for um, my shark butch over here, um, I think she is glorious. I'm sorry that I cannot keep this in frame, but I, I, I don't care because you should know that I'm blind and I've already said that, so. Um, she's great. She's a land shark. She is very, very soft and like fluffy. And like, if there was a such thing as a tiny little land shark that was this size, that would like, like sit in my hand and make adorable little squeaky noises and had a weird kind of fluffy loose face that had eyes that could wiggle um, when you touch them. Um, I think I would want it, so um, yeah, do with that information what you will. 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and um, I will at some point get uh, someone cited to probably look at the instructions. But for now, that is it from me. I should probably stop like holding her like this. I look weird. I'm just gonna put her down here. She's going out of view now. I'm sorry um, for not giving complete and utter details on this, but I hope that you guys found this as interesting as I did. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching a blind person struggle to open a box and play with a shark. So yeah. Um, I really enjoyed making this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Please like, subscribe and share this video with somebody else who you think would enjoy it and follow me on TikTok at blind is the new normal and on Instagram at blind trouble. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!